What's up guys and welcome to the Imperial Vizier Zorlock Heroic 25 man raid guide. Um, there is actually quite a few differences in this fight uh, so let's get right into it. Um, I do not have the ability scrolling out around the top because they're in the normal mode. Uh, there is a couple new abilities but it's pretty much reliant on the old abilities so let's get right into it. Um, since Blizzard has fixed this fight he now always starts on the Force and Verve platform. Um, so in 25 man obviously you split up your groups to go into the correct uh, bubbles that you want your group to go in. Once you get the boss down to 80%, uh, he then flies to the other platform just like normal. However, here's the trick. Um, outside of everything always hitting harder, as it always does in Heroic, um, he also leaves behind an echo of himself. Now this echo needs to be killed. Um, it will still do force and verb on this platform, so it does need to be killed. So typically how most groups handle it and how we handled it is we sent um, a tank and a healer over to and the DPS over to the other side and we left quite a few DPS over to quick burn down the echo and then come join the group. Um, I believe we sent two or three DPS over as well as the tank and the healer um, and, and then that group just went over to the other platform to start the attenuation phase while the rest of the DPS and a couple of the healers burned the echo down. Okay you still have to get into your force and verb bubbles he only puts out two bubbles though so be aware of that that you do need to understand that if you can stay out and you have a spell that will allow you to get through it such as ice block deterrence whatever use that spell so that you can get as many people into the bubble as you can. Um, and once you burn the echo down though, uh, you just run across the other platform. Now here's where you have to be careful. Uh, in the attenuation phase, okay, this is where it gets a lot different. It's as you can see right here, there is tornadoes like normal, but there is also green balls. Uh, these green balls will one-shot you. The tornadoes pretty much will two-shot you. The green balls will one-shot you. So while you're running across the other platform, make sure that you're being careful because you don't want to get hit by those. It will kill you. Um, there is no ifs, ands, or buts, especially because you can't cast anything. You can't mitigate any damage while you're into the yellow pheromones. So be aware of that. Uh, once you get over to the attenuation phase, the nice thing about the green balls of death is they actually work pretty much the same way as the tornadoes, where they will come out um, and you just kind of run around in a circle. Uh, the trick is you really have to be on top of it to, to get stay in front of them. As you can see, what I had to do right there is I had to ice block because I was way too far behind. Um, that was my fault. Again, this is the first time I saw this fight, but we did kill it, which was really, really cool. Um, but as you can see here, when he does it again, what you do is you just run around a big circle, run back to right where you are, stack up, burn the boss. Um, this makes it extremely easy for the tank, who has to deal with the exhale as well, because he, you already know where he's going to be, so you can position everybody, so you never have to really worry about an exhale. As you can see here, you just want to stay ahead of the tornadoes and stay ahead of the green balls. Uh, if you do have to do some movement kiting or just some quick decisions, be on your toes. That The biggest part of this phase is just surviving, okay? Uh, once you get them down to 60% though, again, the same thing is going to happen as the last platform, okay? We're going to get the attenuation with the green balls and we're going to get the echo. So the echo is going to do the same exact thing. Um, the trick is, is you have to go over to the mind control where the boss is now. So you need to leave you need to bring quite a few people over to that other platform, uh, to the mind control platform. The reason being is because, um, yes, this echo needs to die quickly, but it's only attenuation, so you can dodge it pretty easily. Um, but you need to have enough people over there so he can mind control people and other people can break them out of mind control. So you, we, I think, left 10 DPS or maybe 8 DPS and 2 healers. Um, whatever it was, that's all that stayed over there. Because again, you're not really taking damage in this phase while you're on the echo platform. You're just pretty much burning the echo down. Um, so you're doing this just rinse and repeat. The nice thing about this is if you have people who um, need some practice on the attenuation, this is the best place to put them because they will get extra, extra practice. Because going into phase three, you know, you'll see what I mean, it gets really hairy really quick. I mean, there's no real way to practice for phase three. Um, but anyway, you just keep going around um, for this phase, again with the echo burn him down and then once he's burned down then you join everybody else on the mind control platform okay um, a quick tip though to dodge these things is like you see um, especially with big wigs it will tell you which way to run because of just the way that they're coming out so as long as you stay ahead of everything you can just run in that circle um, DPS on the move if you can but like I said the biggest thing is surviving but you can just run in this circle like you see right now I'm trying to just keep my stacks up at this point because I had let them fall off but notice how I'm out front and I don't have to move way outside. That's the trick, is you always want to be out front and then you just go back to your job. Okay, so this ec second echo's dying. What are we doing? We're being careful in the pheromones because we don't want to get hit by anything while we're in the pheromones. Um, we're going over to the mind control platform. Once you're at the mind control platform, all you have to do is have everybody stack up on the back of the boss. 
um, and then it's really easy to break them out. Have people who don't apply dots break them out. So like Mage's Arcane Explosion, um, don't use Howling Blast obviously because that applies dots, but anything that you can use, kind of the same thing as Heroic Spirit Kings, any, like for Maddening Shout, kind of the same ideas. Anything that will quick break these people out, um, CC somebody if you have to, but you just want to get them out as quick as possible, get everybody back to DPSing the boss. Uh, the nice thing about this phase for us is if you were on the attenuation platform by the time you reach this phase the boss really only will do one or two mind controls because now all the DPS are there so you get them in get them down pretty quick uh, the trick to this fight is just going through and making sure um, that for this phase like I said you're all just stacked up and that's all you have to do um, it's the same exact thing there's really nothing else you need to worry about in this fight uh, for this now the third phase <laughs> This is where it gets fun. Um, there's really no way to practice for this phase at all. Uh, there really isn't. Um, the only thing that you can do is uh, simply just be on your toes. That's, that's all I can tell you, just be on your toes. The reason I say that is because he will also make an echo in this phase. Okay, now the trick is you want the other tank to tank the echo way far away in the corner. As far away as you can get him, him and a healer go over there and hang out. You do not kill this echo, there's no need to kill this echo. Um, it has too much health, you will hit the Berserk Timer. Um, that's, that's the whole point of the fight, that's the whole trick. So while you've got all this extra stuff going on with attenuation, you're thinking, oh, well, that's not that bad. Well, here's the thing, is that Echo also does attenuation during Phase 3, okay? Um, so once you see right here he split, he did the Echo, you want to get in your Force and Verb bubble um, and try to get your range in the front bubble, as you can see here, um, because then you can still hit the boss while he's over there. Uh, he drops his Echo, you bring the boss back, into the center of the room and then you deal with the fight just like normal. The only real trick to this part um, is the fact that the echo will do the attenuation which means that you can get two attenuations at one time, you can get a force and verb at the same time as an attenuation and um, so you might have to actually move out of a bubble so you don't get hit by the green bubbles from the other guys doing attenuation. Um, it can be tricky, let's just put it that way. Um, it's, it, it can be a really me big mess. The other thing that you have to understand is that there's also mind control. So you need to be close enough and stacked when you're not in this phase so that you can break everybody out as quick as possible. Uh, as you can see there, the only reason I survived that one was because I was mind controlled and smartly we just let me go until after the attenuation phase was over. That way all we had to do was just break me out when it was clear and free to do so. It wasn't too bad. Um, you want to use every DPS cooldown in the book, save a potion for this phase. You need to get through this phase as quickly as humanly possible. Um, as you can see here, we're already starting to lose people. And right here, um, you will see how crazy it gets because you have two attenuations coming out. Now, at this point, I still had my ice block up. Um, so I did use my ice block because I knew otherwise I would die. So I just said, screw it. Uh, I'm just going to leave my ice block up, get back on the boss. You can see we lost about four or five people on that one. The more of these that happen, guys, you're just going to lose people because there's eventually nowhere else to go. Um, you're out of cooldowns, you're out of range of heals, you're just out of mana, you're out of DPS. You need to get through this phase as quick as humanly possible, okay? Here's another one. Now the Force and Verve is happening the same time as the other guy's attenuation. See what I'm saying? Like, now that one wasn't too bad for us, but I've seen them be terrible in um, other kill videos, so keep that in mind. That it's a really big deal to make sure that you're doing this right. Um, but if you can do all these things, again, this is the whole fight, it's just RNG at the end, is staying on your toes and staying alive. Honestly, if you can get through this um, and just stay alive long enough, you will eventually kill this boss because it, it's just the only way. Um, it just will go down, but you have to be on your toes. Now this is where I die, I believe, because look, where, I, uh, 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 yeah, and, and I'm down. There's nowhere to go. Um, and that will happen. I mean, we ended up killing this thing with, I think, seven people up, but that's okay. You're going to get these really low percentage wipes until you get it figured out. But like I said, the biggest thing is survive as long as you can. Understand your class, understand what abilities you have, and what abilities you have available to you that you can you know, negate some damage, help your healers, help anything you can. Stay alive and just keep DPS and keep chugging. You'll get this fight. All right, guys. See you in the next one.